In this video, I'll discuss hard disk settings in VMware Workstation. So I've got a virtual machine here. It's Windows 8 x64. It's actually Windows 8.1. And note that you have to do this when the machine is turned off. So you can't modify hard disk settings when the virtual machine is powered up. And down here is our hard disk uh, uh, setting. In this case, we have one 100 gigabyte hard drive. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the folder containing this virtual machine. Here's our virtual machine, uh, virtual hard disk. And you can see it has that VMDK extension for disk. The DK is for disk. And over here, the size of it. Now, okay, something's going on here because this is a 100 gigabyte hard drive. And yet, it's only using 6.5 gigabytes. Why is that? Well, quite simply because it's a dynamic hard drive. You can set up these files so that they dynamically change as you add more information to them. The big benefit here is that if you want to create your virtual hard drive, but you don't want to allocate the space right away, or you don't want to take up all the space in your hard drive right away, you can set up these dynamic disks, and they'll, they'll add more information as needed. Now, the downside to this is you have to make sure that you have uh, enough hard drive space on your physical host hard drive to accommodate the, the theoretical um, happenstance that every virtual machine that you have is going to have its hard drive filled. Okay, so in other words, uh, if I set up a 100 gigabyte hard drive here, even as, if it's only taking up six and a half, I have to make sure that this particular hard drive, drive C, has at least 100 gigabytes available just in case I fill that hard drive up. Okay, so you need to sort of keep that in mind, but uh, as long as you do that, you should be fine. Now I'll go ahead and click on the hard disk setting, and that'll bring me into the settings for this virtual machine. Now you can see over on the right-hand pane, we've got some information here. The name of the disk file, we just saw that. It's current size, so 6.2 gigabytes. Uh, how much is free on my system hard drive for that uh, for hard drives, and you can, as you can see, I've got 162, which is great because the maximum size is 100, so I need to be able to make sure that there's at least 100 gigabytes free on that uh, disk, just in case. Now, down here, we've got some disk information. The disk space is not pre-allocated for this hard disk, meaning that, again, we've got a dynamic disk that's going to change in size as we fill it up and that the hard disk contents are stored in a single file. So there's two important points here. One is pre-allocated space versus dynamic disk, and the other is whether or not we store the information in a single file or multiple files. So let's take a look at that. What I'm going to do here is add a new virtual hard drive. So I'm going to click down here, Add. And then we have a number of different hardware types available to us. We want to add a hard disk, which is the first option. So go ahead and click Next. And then we can choose our virtual disk type. We've got IDE, Integrated Drive Electronics. We've got SCSI, Small Computer System Interface, which is the recommended choice. Or we've got Super ATA. So we've got SATA, SCSI, and IDE as our choices. These are the three uh, main hard drive technologies out there. Now remember, we're virtualizing this technology, but this is what we're going to be telling the... Uh, the operating system, the guest operating system that it is. And SCSI is typically designed for the best performance, and this is the recommended option. If for some reason your operating system, your guest operating system, doesn't support SCSI, you can use IDE or SATA, but we're going to go with SCSI. Now, here's the thing. We can set the mode for this disk to be independent. I just checked that on. And that means independent disks aren't affected by snapshots. Okay, so simply put, if you have a hard drive and you uh, create a snapshot of it, it's not going to affect that hard drive. And then you have two options. Persistent, mean, meaning that changes are immediately and permanently written to the disk. And non-persistent, meaning changes to the disk are uh, thrown away when you're power off or restore a snapshot. So there's two different ways of handling that. And, you know, typically you don't need to worry too much about that. I'll turn that off, which is the default. Go ahead and click Next. Now, we've got three options here. We can create a new virtual disk. Okay, that'll create a brand new disk for this uh, virtual machine. We can use an existing one, which is really useful if you've actually got a series of uh, pre-designed 
virtual hard disks that you can you you want to use that's got all the software and, and the operating system set up the, the way you want it this is a great way of going out and replicating operating systems say in a network environment when you want a number of running virtual machines that are all the same we also have the option to use a physical disk so if we have a physical hard drive on our system um, that we can set that up and that's for advanced users i'll go just go ahead and click next and you can see that here we can choose what drives and i've got two drives here on my system we can either use entire disk or use individual partitions now again this is for advanced users and you really want to sort of pay attention to to this one if you're going to use it Make sure that you have an area of a hard drive that you know is free and available. Um, and really the ideal solution is to have a dedicated hard drive hooked up to your system that's not going to be used for anything else but just for a virtual machine. So, you know, but that's for advanced users. So if it's something you need to uh, explore, certainly it's something you might want to consider.